Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey there. Hey there. Good morning. My beautiful, powerful, awesome, dynamic, strong, brave, mighty, courageous, carefree, det determined, compassionate, loving, beautiful, blessed, enriched by God, loved by God, chosen by God, strengthened by God, appointed by God, called by God, hallelujah, adorned by God, sisters of mine, hey there, hallelujah, God is so good. Hey there. I pray you guys are doing well. I enjoyed my rest. I took the, the week off of um, Diet K and just chose to just relax and rest and got a chance to get away this past weekend with my honey and we had a good time. Thank you guys for giving me that opportunity to uh, get some rest. I pray you were continuing to be blessed by the devotionals, even in my absence. I pray that the devotionals bless you. Hey, ladies. On today, I am led by God to uh, read a devotional that was released on September 10th. September 10th is uh, the devotional that says you my sister are a good tree you are a good tree and uh, I want to read this in your hearing and I want you to take it in I want you to really listen to it and take it in all right Psalms 1 3 the New Living Translation says they are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. That's you. You are like a tree planted by the riverbank. You bear fruit each season. Your leaves never wither. You prosper in all you do. Psalms 1-3. Then Matthew chapter 7, verse 17, the New Living Translation says, A good tree produces good fruit. You are a good tree, and you produce good fruit. The devotional says, My sister, no matter how you came into this world, or the choices your parents made. No matter what's been done or said to you over the course of your life, no matter the wrong decisions you've made and the consequences you still have to deal with, I want you to know God has made you a good tree and you bear good fruit. You don't have to do anything give anything, perform in any way to earn the love of your father or earn the love of those around you. You just being you is enough because he has made you good in his sight. Your presence alone encourages others and your voice comforts them. Your laughter brings a smile. Your life is a beautiful testimony of God's grace. And I haven't even mentioned the fruit your life is producing and will continue to produce. You are admirable. Your leaves are green. The anointing flows like sap from the sides of your tree. People come around you and are blessed to be in your company. You are rooted and established in God's love, and his love is seen through you. 
everything you touch prospers. You, my sister, you are a good tree and you produce good fruit. Then the prayer here says, the prayer says, thank you, Father, for guiding me to this truth by your Holy Spirit. I love you and I appreciate your work in me. Thank you for being faithful and 100% committed to our covenant relationship. It makes me happy to know you've been, you've made me a good tree and you're causing me to produce good and healthy fruit for your glory. Amen. Amen. There's some renewing of the mind that needs to take place regarding who we are. Maybe your entrance into this earth wasn't good. Maybe how your parents treated you wasn't good. Maybe your experiences over the course of your life wasn't good. Maybe some of the things that you've said, some of the things that you've done wasn't good. But I tell you something that is good. What happened in your heart, what happened in your spirit, the moment you surrendered your life to Jesus, the moment you said, Father, come in, come in. I welcome you. I surrender to you. God did a good work. He made you a good tree. 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 Maybe someone mis misunderstood uh, you and that experience wasn't good. All of the negative experiences in your life doesn't define you. The things that you've gone through, it doesn't define you. You are still who God says you are. And he calls you righteous. He says you are a tree of righteousness. He calls you that. And he calls you good. And sometimes our parents called us bad. Sometimes our friend called us bad. Our spouses may have called us a bad person. Maybe your, your, your co-workers called you a bad person, made you feel like you were a bad person for the one mistake you made after all of the things you've done right and you do one thing wrong and now you're a bad person who can't do anything right. God wants to affirm us today. And he wants us to get it in our hearts what he has done. He says you are a good tree and you will produce good fruit. When he stood back from creation, he said, that's good. After he made all of creation, he says, that's very good. Very good. And he stands back and looks at you and calls you very good. His work in you is very good. His transforming your life, him redeeming your life from destruction, translating you into the kingdom of God. He, he stands back and says, that's very good. And so who are we to say anything different? Who are we to say, Father, no, what you've done in me is not good. Who I am is not good. My heart is not good. My spirit is not good. Who are we to say anything different than what God has said? He calls us a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. He calls us his workmanship created in Christ Jesus and to good works that he planned beforehand that we will walk in them. He calls us a good tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaf does not wither. We bear fruit in every season. And our reality will catch up. It will catch up to our understanding of who we are. You may say, well, I'm not experiencing good. I'm not experiencing anything good right now.
people around me are not speaking well of me. They're not speaking good of me. My experiences, my reputation is not good. My name is not good. The things I've said is not good. I know you're calling me a good tree, but my, my history is not good. But praise God, your future has nothing to do with your past. You can walk in who you are starting today, starting right now. You can receive the truth that God has made you a tree of righteousness. He has transformed you. He has translated you into the kingdom of God's dear son. God has redeemed you from destruction and everything that has to do with destruction. God has saved you. He has healed you. He has set you apart. He has called you out of all of that and made you good and made you right in his sight. And your past may not be good and your present may not be good, but your future can be beautiful and glorious and great. Because that's who you are. You are a good tree. You can speak right things out of your mouth. You can speak good things. You can have a good name. You can't have a good reputation. Everywhere you go, people can speak well of you. But it starts with receiving who God says you are. God says you are a good tree. You are a tree of righteousness in his sight. He stands back and says, wow, my work in her spirit is very good. Very good. Yeah, you're still struggling with some things. We all are. God is still working with some things in all of us. God is working on some things in all of us. And you may have repented for the same thing for the millionth time. God still calls you a good tree. He doesn't change what he calls you based on your past. He doesn't change his mind about you based on what you've done. God still, he, he is faithful. The Bible talks about how faithful and true our father is. He doesn't change his mind. He doesn't change what he's saying. He doesn't change what he's spoken over you. He doesn't change and say, well, well, she was a good tree, but now she's done all of this stuff. I think I'm going to change my mind and make her into a bad tree. No, his work in you is still a good work. And God hasn't changed his mind. And don't you change your mind about yourself. Praise God. You are a good tree. God's anointing flows like sap from your sides. People come around you and they are blessed to be in your company. You are rooted and established in God's love. His love is seen and felt through you. Everything you touch, my sister, it prospers. Because you are a good tree. Praise God. And you will continue to produce good fruit. Praise God. Praise God. Let's pray. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. We thank you for making us right in your sight. We thank you, Lord God, for changing us on the inside. We thank you, Lord, that the moment we surrendered our lives to you, Daddy, you made us good. You made us right. You made us holy. We thank you, Lord. We've been called by you. We've been chosen by you. We thank you, Lord, no matter what has been what has happened in our past and no matter what we are still dealing with right now. We thank you, Lord. Our future is bright because we're beginning to understand exactly what you've done, Father. You've made us good. And we declare right now that we will agree with you. We will align our faith with what you say, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We say what you say. You call us good, we call ourselves good. You call us your workmanship, we say we are your workmanship. We are your best work. We are your masterpiece. You call us a royal a royal priesthood, we say that what you say. We are a royal priesthood. You call us a chosen generation, Lord, we say what you say. We are a chosen generation. You call us a holy nation. We say what you say. We are a holy nation. We've been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Set apart, Father God. 
We thank you, Lord. We say what you say. No matter what we've done or haven't done. No matter what we've said or haven't said. No matter what people have said about us. No matter what our name means right now. No matter what our reputation is right now. We thank you, Lord. We say what you say. We are a good tree. And we produce good fruit. And we will continue to produce good fruit. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Your anointing rests on me and my sisters. Your grace floods us, Lord God. Your wisdom is is constantly flowing towards us, Father. We thank you, Lord. We receive your grace to be who we are in the name of Jesus. We receive the help of your Holy Spirit to be good trees, trees of righteousness, people that think right, do right, live right in the name of Jesus, process right, respond right, react right in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are who you say we are. We receive your grace right now today, no matter our history. We thank you, Lord. Our future is secure in Christ. We thank you, Lord. Today, starting today, you help us make right choices today. You help us, Lord, to bear good fruit today. You help us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. That your love be seen and felt through us today. I cover my sisters, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your identity that you've given them. I thank you, Lord, that my sisters all throughout that K, all throughout the K family, I pray that you will help them agree with you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, before any changes are made in their heart, before any changes are made in their life, Lord. I thank you, Lord, they first have to agree with you. Agree with what you say, even though it don't make any sense. How can you call us good when we've done all these bad things? How can you call us good when we done when we've had this past that is horrible? How can we how can you call us good when we keep on messing up, keep on messing up, making the same mistake? How can you call us good, Father God? But you are a good father. And you love us. And you got the final say over our lives. And we thank you, Lord. Your work, Lord God, that you've done through Jesus is a good work. And we surrender to the work of Christ and we put on the new man right now. And we put on the new, we put on the new man. We put on the mind of Christ right now. We put it on, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We are who you say we are. And we have what you say we have. And we will do what you say we will do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By your grace and by your power. Everything you say about me and my sisters is true. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You call us good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of all things that we've done wrong. Anything that we've done, Lord, that did not look like you, did not agree with your word. Anything we've said, Father, that hurt you or hurt your children. Anything we've done, Father God, we thank you for your forgiveness and we thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Lord. You help us to continue to persevere. You help me and my sister to continue to press forward, move forward by faith in the name of Jesus and be who you made us to be. We're good trees. We're good people with good hearts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We rebuke every lie of the enemy. We reject every single lie that tells us anything it's not found in your word. We reject every single lie about who we are. Hallelujah. We receive your grace. We receive your mercy. Thank you, Lord. And we receive what you say about us. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you have accepted us into your family. You've accepted us with all of our issues. You've accepted us. And you made us right in your sight. Help us to walk this out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We receive your grace to be who you called us to be today. In Jesus' name, hallelujah.
Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are a good tree. Hallelujah. I remember, I remember, and I'll share this and then we can go. I remember when I went through something and the enemy was telling me that I'm a, that I'm not good. And he had to use, he had to use people close to me to tell me that I didn't have a that I that I wasn't good. That I wasn't good. This devotional was inspired by true events. <laughs> it was inspired by true events. That you and you are a good person. That's something that God had to tell me. And um, and I remember I went through something. And um, during that time, the enemy was using the words of people to make me feel like I wasn't a good person. And I went to the. Uh, I remember I had to have my heart checked during this season. I had to have my heart checked because I was experiencing things in my heart. And I'm sitting there in that office. And after they've done the stress test, after they've done an ultrasound of my heart, I wanted to get to the bottom of it. I'm like, what's going on with my heart? Because I was experiencing pain in my heart, in my chest. And I went there. They did every test they could do. And the lady sat me down. The doctor sat me down. After every test was done, she sat me down. And she said, Mrs. Trippett. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> she said, Mrs. Trippett, you have a beautiful heart. She said, your heart is healthy. You have a beautiful heart. And I, when I walked out of there, I just bawled. I, I sat in my car and I just bawled. And that's what God does. We go through things in life and we hear people's accusations and we hear their words and we hear their, and the enemy uses the words of people and then he'll come and add on to it, right? And he'll try to make you think that you're not who God says you are, that you don't have what God says you have, that you, that you're not a good person, that you don't have a good heart, that you're not, that you're not who you think you are. And he'll come and just dump on us even more, right? And so he had me thinking that I'm not a good person. I don't have a good heart. But that lady's words, I heard the Spirit of God in her words. She said, Mrs. Trippett, you have a beautiful heart. And when I got in the car, I'm sitting there crying. And I said, thank you, Father. The devil's a liar. I receive the truth of your word. No matter what anyone has said about me, no matter what's been done to me, no matter what, I agree from this day forward that I am who you say I am. You call me a good tree. I receive that I'm a good tree. You say that I have a good heart, a beautiful heart. I receive that I have a beautiful heart. You call me good. I receive your words about me. I'm good. And God wants you to receive the same. Receive the same. Receive what God says about you. God has the final say about who you are. God is the only one. He made you. He created you. And so he has the final say when it comes to who you are. And people don't get to, to speak on who you are, who didn't make you. They didn't fashion you. They didn't form you in your mother's womb. They don't get to decide who you are. They don't get to decide who you are. I know you love your spouse, but he doesn't get to decide who you are. You love your friends, but they don't get to decide who you are. You may love your family, but they don't get to decide who you are. Only the one who made you, the one that fashioned you, formed you, created you. You are God's workmanship. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, you are God's workmanship. You are his 
masterpiece created in Christ Jesus, not created in your husband, not created in Susan or Rachel or whoever came at you. You are created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God planned beforehand. You will walk in them. You will do every single thing that God purposed for you to do. You will be who God created you to be. You will fulfill every single detail of God's purpose for your life. Because you're finally going to get it. You're finally going to understand. Man, I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. Praise God. It's going to click. The light bulb is going to come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are a good tree. And you will continue to produce good fruit. You are a good person. God has made you good. He's made you good. He's made it right. He set you at peace with him again. You're at one with God again. And everything is good with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I love you, my sisters. I pray you have a beautiful, blessed day. God bless you.